here Dory Sukup here with another question of the week I'm on my way actually to go get my golf lesson so I thought I'll do this video real quick before I hit the range with my instructor and then play nine holes real quick so the question of the week came to us from Sylvie from New York and Sylvie's asking um, is direct mail still something that's worthwhile it is expensive and I was wondering if I should make the investment so thank you so much for asking the question direct mail is definitely still alive and well so in preparation for this I just received the latest issue of Neiman Marcus catalog in the mail check out this catalog Yes, they send it to me because I spend a lot of money at Newman Marcus. So this is an amazing catalog though. Can you imagine the print cost and the shipping cost of this catalog? So is it worth it for them to send it to someone like me? For sure, because you know what I did? I decided my next wardrobe for the season out of this catalog. And then, of course, I got a catalog also from Escada because I love their jackets. I'm an Escada girl as well. And look at this catalog. This is absolutely beautiful. Very nice paper, very expensive paper. Same thing, by the way, with the Neiman Marcus. So is it worth it for them to send someone like me this kind of catalog? Yes, for sure. So direct mail still works. As a matter of fact, here's another Neiman Marcus advertisement that I got. This is a postcard. And actually they use our the way we do things uh, your gift or I usually say gift for you right so this is your gift um, this uh, Pam and uh, Sila backpack they're giving it as a gift which is nice and um, then I received of course uh, sometimes I go into Pier one and shop so they send their catalog so uh, Barnes and Noble this is my second home as you see I love books <laughs> So they still send uh, postcards in the mail with different coupons. I'm a member, but you get additional coupons that you can save money on. So yes, direct mail is definitely still uh, kicking. <laughs> the only thing is you have to be careful. One mistake that people make is they spend the money on the direct mail piece. And you're right, it is very expensive. But if we don't drive them somewhere to actually opt in and give their information, then you just wasted thousands and thousands of dollars on your direct mail piece as a matter of fact i was just doing a private coaching call with one of our titanium members and they went ahead and sent out their grand opening invitation without talking to me first they got a spanking for that one so they sent out this expensive direct mail piece and there was no place to take them to rsvp i'm like <laughs> don't do that don't do that so if you are gonna do a direct mail there is a proper way to do it I would recommend you call me up set up a coach me private call I can save you and make you a ton of money because there is an art to direct mail right you're not Neiman you're not Escada you're not just gonna send information without a call to action and without capturing their information so I just gave you a huge huge tip so make sure you do that all right so give me a call i'll help you set it up and now i'm off to play some golf so until next time or if you have a question make sure you email it to me and until next time stay inspired bye now